you have to say no. Oh, I Boy, you're going to have to go some there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I never get to the seven. Hey, get back to the wall, sir. We have many people here joining us to uh, commemorate and celebrate this wonderful event. We have the Honorable Ida Chong, Minister of Community and Sport and Cultural Development. Ida, thank you for coming up. We have the Honorable Don McCray, the Minister of Agriculture and the MLA for Comox Valley. And in case, uh, in case anybody thinks this isn't important to the island communities, we have Mayor John Rattan, the Mayor of uh, Nanaimo here with us. Saunders, the mayor of Colwood, is here. Colin Hain. Colin Hain is here, the mayor of uh, Lansfeld. And Chris Berger is here. Chris is the uh, acting mayor of Parksville. Chris, thank you. And thank you all for coming. And we also have, uh, um, I'd like all the councillors are here. And for Much. This is a great day for Vancouver Island. It's a great day for the entire province because this island and this corridor is a treasure for every single citizen in this country. And um, it's, this is such a great community. It's so wonderful to see so many of you here today. And I know that it, amongst the crowd, there are, is probably a hundred years worth of hours that have been devoted to making sure that this rail line is sustained and maintained and continues to grow. And I do want to acknowledge uh, Dr. Lenny, who's with us, of course, today, and as well John, as John Duncan, who is not here with us today, but both of whom I spoke to on election night, and both of whom made a point of saying to me, Christy, thanks for calling. Now we have to get to work on the railway. So I do, you've been an incredibly dedicated cheerleader for this program and uh, project and supporter of it. So, uh, James, I'm delighted you're here. Thank you very much. cheerleaders for this project, you will not get any more enthusiastic supporters of the ENN than the MLAs that you see behind me. Ida Chong, Murray Cole, Ron Cantillon, and uh, Don McRae have kept the ENN Railway on the government's agenda from the first days that they were elected. They have never let this fade from the public eye. Because 125 years ago, Canada's very first Prime Minister drove home the last spike to complete the e and Railway. And with the swing of that hammer, John A. Macdonald fulfilled his government's promise to connect the colony of Vancouver Island to the rest of Confederation. It was a historic day in the history of this country. And ever since then, the e and has been a vital link for Canada and for families and communities up and down the island. Uh, but sadly, as many of you, as all of you, I'm sure are aware, the ENN passenger train service was suspended in April. And the cost of track repairs was simply just too much for the Island Corridor Foundation, which has worked so hard to make sure that this railway is operating to the benefit of people up and down the island. The foundation told us that it requires $15 million to complete essential repairs 
and it asked the province to provide seven and a half million dollars of that funding. Well, today, in response to that request, I am delighted to announce that the province will meet it and provide seven and a half million dollars in funding to the of that will allow the foundation to complete an engineering inspection of approximately uh, 40 to 40 rail bridges along the way the remaining seven million is conditional on the foundation getting matching funding of seven and a half million from its partners and demonstrating that the rail link is indeed safe they will also find ways to make sure that they are maximizing the number of passengers and the amount of cargo that goes along the line because in the long run for this railway to work people need to use it we need to make sure that it's there and that it's usable and it's available for people, it's convenient and it's the highest possible, highest quality possible service, but people need to be using it. And I know that everybody here in the crowd today is going to do your best to make sure that people are using the rail line because ultimately that's the long-term answer to its success and the success of people up and down the island. We heard from Vancouver Islanders and we heard from the mayors along the line. We also heard from the Island Corridor Foundation, which has worked so hard. And so today, we are taking the first steps to renew the 125-year-old E&N Railway. We are renewing a promise that was made to Islanders so long ago. And I'm sure this has occurred to many of you here today, somewhere up there. Up in the sky above us, John A. McDonald is looking down on us with a big smile. I'm delighted to be here today. Thank you for your warm welcome. acknowledge, I see John Horgan, the MLA for, for Esquimalt, on the Duke, I believe, and I think uh, Doug Weltley's beside him, if I see my, my vision correctly. I don't know, is there any other colleagues here? <laughs> Behind us is the railway station that's <coughs> me, just being uh, completed, and uh, someone who isn't here with us today, uh, Larry McKinnon, couldn't be here. We lost him too young, too early, but uh, we owe a great debt of credit to his leadership and his bravery in, in uh, leading, the, leading the charge to help make this rail dream come true. So it's now my pleasure to uh, move on to uh, introduce Judith Sayers, the co-chair of the on, on Ra Island Railway Corridor Foundation. I hope that's right. Judith, it's so nice to have you here. I would like to start today by acknowledging that this is the territory of the Sinanemuch First Nation and thank them and acknowledge them for the ability to be here today and to enjoy their beautiful territory. It's hard to know how to start when you want to say thank you for such a large gift. And it is a huge gift that means much to Vancouver Island residents. Many years ago, there was a vision to retain this corridor, to connect communities, to allow us that ability to continue to use the corridor. And with the vision of the Cowichan First Nation and many others, the dream was born. We took a lot of years, but the foundation owns the corridor. We uh, own millions of dollars in land and assets, which is a pretty good thing. But it was an incredible joint venture between First Nations and regional districts. People said we couldn't do it. But today we have Ray Goche from Chimanis. We have half the board members that are First Nations. Mary and I co-chair the foundation. And it is a best practice, it is something that has been talked about across this country and at the municipal gatherings. We need this corridor. The mayor has showed the province that it will be very costly if we don't have it. It will help reduce greenhouse gases and help meet those goals of the province. 
and we're going to build this rail so that people can get on and go the right direction. <laughs> Dr. Lay, did you have your checkbook with you today? <laughs> he said he had his own, but it wasn't quite enough. <laughs> but the pressure is over to the federal government, and they've been wonderful. Minister Duncan rode the rail from Victoria to Courtney with us. Long day, but he loved it. He wanted to see what it was all about, and we appreciate that. We appreciate the partnership that we have with the provincial government and the federal government. Uh, we look forward to many, many years of good use on the corridor. And we can't thank you enough, province of BC. Vancouver Island is on the map. Thank you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce one of the tireless champions of the ENN cause, the uh, chair of the Vancouver Island Coastal Communities, representing the mayors here and being a strong advocate, tireless and not quite a pain, but Joe, you pushed hard. <laughs> <laughs> Joe <Sandler. laughs> Thanks a lot, Ron. I, too, would like to recognize that we are on the traditional land of the Sinemo First Nations, and uh, we all uh, give respect to that. <coughs> on behalf of the uh, Association of Vancouver Island and Coastal Communities, which represents all of local governments on Vancouver Island, we sincerely thank you, Premier Clark. That's quite an undertaking. And this, this government's uh, announcement that, uh, this morning demonstrates strong support for passenger rail service. This infrastructure funding was necessary to secure the future of this service. If we didn't use it, we were. Continued development of passenger rail will result in many economic and social and environmental benefits to our entire community. I'd also like to thank Ministers Lekstrom, Mr. Chong, and Minister Read their willingness to listen and work with us to preserve our passenger rail service is deeply appreciated. A special thanks to uh, MLA Candelon behind me, who is always there for the Association of Vancouver Island Coastal Communities and the RDN. As you know, as, as Judith said, the First Nations and uh, local governments make up the Island Corridor have worked together in saving the Island Corridor Foundation. And it's a perfect example of working together with First Nations. And it was the First Nations that started, that helped fund us in Chiminas to get the ball rolling. And way back when we started, we started to look at considering local governments and First Nations taking over the Island Corridor Foundation, all of our communities. It's, we have to save it. It's going to be needed. We do not know what the future brings with higher <coughs> fuel prices and all the rest of it. Get the trucks off the road. Keep the and look at the truck traffic. Look at how it is increasing. This is where it should be. Yeah. 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 Okay, finally, uh, in the regional district in Nanaimo, our, our uh, priorities are focused on ensuring a sustainable future. We're taking the lead in that. And we believe that transportation planning design should be structured around pedestrians, cyclists, and transit over the automobile in order to be more efficient and reduce emissions. And, as, well, as Judith said, going the right way, well, just so you know, members of the Association of Vancouver Rail and Coastal Communities passed a resolution that would see the main rail terminus behind us here established in Nanaimo with two southbound trains leaving here each morning. So that's the right way. <laughs> We've got to preserve it, the Yunnan Corridor in perpetuity and uh, for the benefits of all local governments and First Nations on Vancouver Island. And uh, once again, thank you very much. This is very, very